Hi everyone, this is Sarah from SRS Designs and in this tutorial today I am going to show you how to make this Kawaii Lumi Gurumi uh, toothbrush and he or she goes perfect with the toothpaste that I have already on my channel. So you can see they're a little matching pair. For this project, it's not that band heavy. You will need 194 bands in the color of the handle for your brush and about 75 or so for the white part. This is the bristles and you can change this color, it doesn't have to be white. You'll also need a black band for the mouth and some eyes. I am using six millimeter safety eyes that I got off of Amazon. You can also use bands to make the eyes if you need to. So here's our project in the corner. You're going to need a hook and something to mark your stitches. This is a crocheting and knitting stitch marker, but you don't need to, if you don't have one of these, it's not a big deal. Paper clip, safety pin, um, a little, any kind of little, like even a C-clip just to mark where you're gonna be. So let's get started. And we're going to start with a magic ring. I'm going to be using this blue. So for what, what we're going to do, I'm going to pull aside six bands and we're going to pull those through a magic ring. So how you make a magic ring is you take one band on your hook and you wrap it around twice. So you have three rings. And then we take one of our first bands, first of six, and we slide that triple cap band onto the first band and then we put the end back on. So now it's hanging here at the bottom and we're gonna make a slip knot. So we're gonna pull the first band near the hook through the other side of the band, just like that. And there's that little slip knot. We're gonna go back into the center of that triple cap band and we're gonna repeat that process. So pulling it through all three of those bands and then back on my hook we're gonna pull it through the first to make the slip knot, and then we're gonna pull through the band that was already on our hook, and that's attaching the two. So going back into that triple wrap band again, we're pulling it through. So we're doing two slip knots, one, two. And we're gonna continue until all six bands are on. So here's, we're done with our first row. And to make sure that we know where we are and that we've got the right bands and where we're gonna start our next row, I'm gonna count. So the first stitch is on our hook still. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And number six is where we put our hook under to start our next row. For our next row, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna increase it from six stitches to nine. So we're gonna be doing a single, and an increase, a single, and an increase, a single, and an increase, and that will give us nine. So here's our first single, and that's our first stitch on our second row, and now I wanna increase it. So I'm gonna move to the next stitch, and I'm gonna pull through two bands. So here's the first, and then the second. Now I'm gonna repeat this pattern, I'm moving to the next where I'm gonna do it a single. So here's one and then the next one's gonna have an increase and that's two stitches. One and two. And we're gonna, we've got two stitches left in our row, we're gonna repeat that pattern again. So one and then the double. The two stitches. One and two. And then we're back at the beginning. The next place we can put our hook is under the stitch marker there. For our next row, we are going to do nine stitches all around. So here's our first. So this is one, moving our stitch marker. Two. Three. four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and nine. And then our hook goes underneath where our stitch marker was. And we're back to the beginning of the next row. Now we're gonna, it's it's pretty long, so we're just gonna continue to work down here. So I'm we're gonna need to do one, two, three, four, five, six more rows of nine stitches. So do six more rows and then I'll meet you back. Welcome back. You should have finished six more rows and then starting to look like a little finger or a little tube. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take our stitch marker off and I'm going to put it where my hook was so to save my place because I need my hook. We're gonna put this off to the side for a second because the next part we're gonna make is the tooth bristles. So you're gonna need um, another color or, or I guess you could do the same. And we are going to chain seven. So what we're gonna do is put one band on our hook and wrap it around. This is our first. And we're gonna pull through six. So I'm gonna pull one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now we have a total of seven bands on our hook we are going to do six single crochets back along the other side of this. This band is all twisted here. Here. And we're not gonna use the slip knot technique, we're gonna use the other crochet technique where we're making each of our stitches with two bands. So this is how we're gonna do it. Holding our hook and our stitch together. We're gonna put our hook in the next space here. We're gonna pull through one band and put it back on our hook. Now we have two bands, two stitches on our hook. So this is the original one and then this is the new one we made. So now we're gonna take a second band and we're gonna pull it through everything on our hook. That's our first stitch. And we're just gonna repeat this. So this was one. We're gonna go to our next is two. So we're gonna pull one band through and then one band through everything going to move over to the next spot. So this is three, one band through, and then one band through everything. And this is four. And then five. So we're going to pull one band through. And then the second band connects everything. And then our last stitch is in the, the cat band at the end, which was the first band we put on our hook. So we're going to pull one band through and then one band through everything. So now we have the chain in our first row. So now we're going to do our next row and we're going to chain one. We're going to add one more. But now we want it. We need to change direction. So instead of twisting our band like this, I'm gonna hold it here, pull my my hook out, and switch direction that it's going in. So now I can start working. So this is the chain on. My, this is it's gonna give us some space to work, and we're not skip, skipping here. We're going to the next available stitch, which is right here. And if you're confused about where you need to be, make sure you've got six spots left. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna do six across. So here's our first. We pull the one band through, and then the second band that connects it all, moving to the second spot. This is our second stitch. Moving to our third. And each of the stitches we're making is using two bands. Four, pulling one through, one through everything. Five, pulling a band through, pulling 
been through everything. And then our last stitch here is six. Pull the end through, and then one through everything. Just like that. It's a lot of fuzz on my bands, Emma. I don't know why. All right, so now we're gonna do our, to do our next row, we're gonna chain one. We're gonna pinch it and hold it so we don't lose anything and move our hook in the opposite direction. So now we can go back. So we're gonna go into that first stitch, pulling one and two. Moving to our next stitch, one, and two. I'm gonna keep going until we have six. So this is stitch number three, four, this is five, and our last one here is number six. Now we're going to chain one. We're gonna turn our hook around and this is going to be our last row of six. Just putting our hook in the first spot, pulling up one band, pulling one band through everything that connects it. This is stitch number two. Moving it over to stitch number Three. Here is four. Five. And our last stitch on the row here is six. And we're done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half and we're gonna sew up these sides. So I have the stitch on my hook and I'm gonna make a slip knot. And what I'm gonna do is take my hook out and go across and pull this band through. So now it's on the other side, just like that. I'm gonna go through the other side and I'm gonna grab that, that band and I'm gonna pull another band through and put it on my hook. And I'm gonna make a slip knot. And then I'm gonna put my hook through here, through the next available set there. And I'm gonna pull one band through everything on my hook and make a slip knot. And then on the inside, I'm going to grab this band that I used to and just pull it through and that will be on the inside. This design doesn't have any stuffing in it, so it, it will ju it'll just be on the inside and it'll be fine. So now that I've got it folded in half, I need to get this other side sewed up. So I'm gonna go through this end here. I'm gonna go through these two stitches. I'm gonna pull a band through, make a little slip knot, and then go to the second set of stitches on the bottom. There's two on each side, and I'm gonna make a slip knot. Pulling it through everything on my hook. And just like that. And then you can hide this one up inside also, because we're not gonna see that. Just like that. So now we need to attach it to be the end of our toothbrush. So I'm gonna stick my finger up here. So I've got something to support it. And I'm gonna have my open end facing this way. So we are gonna sew it on using bands. So we're gonna go underneath. So it, it's very, close to the end here but that's on purpose because the tooth part I want it to be it's easier to access 
just like this. So we're just gonna go underneath a, some of the bands on the blue here and we're gonna go underneath our first set of bands here. Actually, I need to pull my finger out. And now I'm going to pull a stitch through both and put it back on my hook. I'm gonna make a slip knot. And then I'm gonna move over to the next spot and go underneath the next band. I'm gonna pull a band through everything on my hook and make a slip knot. And this will be attaching it and there will be a row of slip knots along the bottom. The hardest part of that I found of this was keeping it in a straight line. So you're just gonna keep going underneath one section of the blue or your handle color just like here. So here we were, we're gonna go underneath this section and then we're gonna go underneath our next stitch, which is here. We're gonna pull a band through everything and make a slip knot. And you wanna kinda of adjust it, make sure you're making it in a line. And we're gonna move over to our next space. Getting the loops of blue and the loops of the yellow. I mean the white, gosh. And then we're gonna make, oh, that. I didn't make a slip knot. Pull that through, make a slip knot. We're almost done with the side. So you're just gonna keep going down the line, making slip knots. And this will attach it. And you want to keep just making sure that it's turning out the way you want it. So here we are at the end. Now I want to grab this cat band that was at the bottom. If you if you did the put yours on the same side as mine, yours you'll get there. And then we're gonna go, so now we've sewed up this one side, we need to do, we're sort of changing direction and now we're doing this side. So I'm gonna pull two bands from under here and grab our end, make a slip knot. And now we need to go up the other side. So I don't want it stretched out like this so it's flat. I want my white part to be tall. So I'm just gonna skip about like one stitch worth of space. And then I'm just gonna keep going. Otherwise your, your tooth bristles will not end up pointing upward. They will be sort of laying down and you don't want that. Want them to stick up. And you can just fiddle with it, get it exactly the way you want. And it's, it's not, you know, this is one of the things I like about this, this is pretty forgiving. So these are one of these designs where if it's not exactly perfect, it's still going to show, turn out, you know, it'll still turn out okay, even if it's not exactly, you know, the same exact thing that I did. So here we are back at the beginning. Our bristle, bristles are sticking up. And I'm going to take this last band and I'm going to go underneath here just to secure it. I'm going to do it all with a slip knot. And then I'm going to secure, just pull it inside. We are not going to stuff the inside of the toothbrush because it's pretty narrow. So you'll have plenty of room inside. So there's the bristles of our toothbrush. And now we need to continue making the handle. So I'm going to go back to my handle color. Get these white on the way. 
we need to do three more rows of our handle color. So I'm going to put my sil hook back in where my stitch marker was. I'm going to pull through one. So here's my first stitch on my row. So I'm going to finish this row and I'm going to do three and two more rows after this. So this is my first row and then I'm going to do two more rows of our handle color and I'll meet you back. All right, now I've added those three additional rows after we put on the bristles. And what I'm gonna do now is take my hook out again, putting my stitch marker in to mark where I am, and we are going to add the face on. And this came loose. So I'm gonna do it pretty close down to where we were finished we were we've been working because as you can see we are going to continue with eight more rows after this before we decrease to the bottom so I'm going to end up with my I want my face just right here and it'll be you know right where it needs to be so I'm gonna just find a place to put my two safety eyes in and put them where I like them this design isn't very wide so you're slightly limited <laughs> on where you can put the eyes. If you do not have safety eyes, you can pull a bead through a band and then pull it through here into a slip knot, or you can just use black bands. So you take two bands, wrap it around on your hook one time, grab all of those, wrap them around again, and you've got a big knot of bands, and you're going to pull it through. Oops, it popped off. So wrap it around, wrap it around again, and you are going to pull it through one band. And then you're going to take this, just like you would the bead, putting it here. Stick your hook up, pull one side through, stick your hook up, pull the other side through, and make a slip knot. I'm not going to do that, because I've got these safety eyes. So... This is the reason why I did it so close. <laughs> so it was hard to, to switch it inside out to get the backs of the safety eyes on. So I'm just going to poke the little ends through and put the little plastic backs on. Oops, it's very tight in here. So I'm going to push them and they make a little click as they go down. It's like they are barbed on the back so that they can't come out of the, this little plastic cap can't come out. There we go. That's why they're called safety eyes. Because if you were crocheting something out of yarn, you wouldn't want the eyes to pop out. That could be a choking hazard. Oh, there we go. They always give me such trouble. Okay, safety eyes in. Now I want to do the mouth. So the way I like to do the mouth is I'm taking a black band and I'm going to give it a little snip. And then I am going to use it as my smile. I'm going to pull one side through here. Make a little space. Pull another side through. Oops, just like that. Just line it up where you like it. Oh, that'll be cute. Zipper came out. <laughs> hey, guy. Don't give me any trouble today. Sometimes pants are slippery. Right, so that's where his smile will be. He looks devious. And I'm going to take the ends of that black band. I'm going to pull them tight and make a little knot at the end to keep them, keep it in place. Okay, there we go. Not at the end. And then I can, I can play with it a little bit more once I get it done. So now my hook is going to go back in where my stitch marker was holding my spot. And now we need to do eight more rows. We're gonna do eight rows of the nine stitches, then we're gonna decrease and we'll be done. 
So go ahead and let's start. So this is row number one. So you're gonna do eight rows and then I'll meet you back. Okay, now that we've finished those eight more rows, we just need to finish the bottom of the handle. So what we're gonna do for this row is we're going to do a single crochet moving our stitch marker and then we're going to do a decrease and for a decrease we put our hook in our next stitch but then we're going to grab the one next to it so we've got two stitches on our hook the next two stitches and we're going to make them one stitch by pulling one band through both of those stitches and then we're going to repeat that so we're going to do a single crochet and then grabbing the next two stitches and we're going to repeat that again so a single crochet and then our next two stitches we're going to pull those through and we're going to put our hook back underneath where our stitch marker was I'm going to take out the stitch marker and I'm going to pull one band through into a slip knot. And we're done. Just like that. Let's hide this up in the back so you can't see it. So you just pull it up and through. And it is hidden and ready to go. So that is my little toothbrush. And he matches, I would call him he, I guess, my toothpaste. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. I also hope that you will subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is the fastest way to find out what new designs I have coming out so that you'll get notified. So I hope you'll take the time to do that and comment below if you have any other ideas you'd like me to look into and I can try that. I'd love to see any versions of my projects that you've made. You can do it post them on my Instagram at SRS Designs or on Facebook at SRS Designs. Thanks for watching and keep looming.